it actually works. Hi everyone. I just posted a number of videos showing how I installed this DRO on my Rongfu mill drill. I also included as a portion of the one video how I installed this six inch digital caliper on the quill to get the Z axis on my mill. Now I call this DRO the Shenzhen DRO. Uh, it's actually branded as a Jing CE one. There are a number of other brands that you can find on eBay and the like, but I think it's actually manufactured by the Shenzhen Electronics Company or Shenzhen Instrument Company. Now, Shenzhen's a very interesting place. If you're an electronics geek or nerd, you already know about Shenzhen because it's sort of the focal point of all things inexpensive hardware in, in China. Manufacturing geeks don't know about it so much. Uh, one of the interesting things about this DRO is that I paid around $200 US for it. I think that if you were directly in Shenzhen, you could probably get this DRO in the scales for somewhere around $100 US, maybe even less. There are a number of interesting blogs about Shenzhen that talk about what you can get for $50 at the market. Maybe I'll post one or two of them in the description just for interesting reading. So what do I think about the DRO? It's actually pretty good. In the six months that I've been using it in my home shop, I really like it. When you consider the price, I'm really amazed with the product. $200 for a DRO, a two axis DRO and two scales is really quite phenomenal. Now let's be clear, if this was a production shop, I wouldn't buy this for my production shop. Why? There's nothing in the performance that I've seen that I wouldn't use it, but there's just too many unknowns. You don't know how long it's going to last. Is it going to last five years? Is it going to last 10 years? Is it going to last two years? Is it going to die tomorrow? Likewise, the accuracy and repeatability of the scales, they state some sort of specification. I'm in no position here to be able to check that. The best that I've been able to check it is by placing a dial indicator at various points over the table. And it's at least as accurate as the dial indicator from what I can measure. But when you count on your DRO day in and day out, even the high quality ones are very reasonably priced anymore. Now, would I put a Midatoy DRO on a Rong Fu mill drill? I really don't like lipstick on pigs. So for the home shop, I think it's great. I think for the price, it really is a no brainer, but beware of a few things. One, you're probably not gonna get very much, if any support for the product. I think you might get some support after the initial purchase if something doesn't show up, if a scale doesn't work when you install it or if it immediately fails but long term i don't think you're gonna get anything like i'm at the point now where i think if something breaks i'm on my own if you want support where you can phone somebody or you want some long-term support on on the unit itself there are a number of entry-level dro's that are supported by local resellers um, but beware they usually run around a, the thousand dollar price point and some of them look suspiciously like this one not all of them, but some of them do. So in a sense, you're paying for that local support. But if you can forego the support and you are a tinkerer and you can deal with issues as they show up and you don't depend on it for your, your livelihood day in and day out, I think that this is a really good unit. So the good, it actually works. It came with a bunch of hardware to install it. You don't just get the DRO and the scales, you get covers, you get bolts, you get an arm for the, the unit itself, you get a plastic cover for it. The DRO itself is actually fairly capable. It's not just a, a position readout. You can store tools in it. You can switch uh, your measuring system. It has functions for uh, bolt hole circle and it talks about some of that stuff in the manual. Some of it's not super intuitive to use, but once you figure out how to use it, it's not that bad. Um, it saves so much time in the home shop even. Uh, it's It makes using the milling machine much, much easier. You're not constantly counting dials. And on this particular um, milling machine, the dials aren't the greatest to begin with. So this is, is a lifesaver in some situations. Um, the bad, um, the scales themselves, I think are probably the weakest point. Uh, I think they're not particularly coolant proof. So if you are in a situation where coolant's constantly splashing on them, I would probably look at a different solution because I don't think these are gonna last that long. I have no evidence to suggest that they will fail other than the workmanship to put them together isn't the greatest. Um, 
the plastic has that smell. Y yeah, that one. And the manual is in English. Um, but it's at least as good as some of the $200,000 CNC Japanese manuals that I've read. So it is usable. So that's the $200 Shenzhen review. I would definitely recommend one for your home shop. This is a two axis one. I think if you spend a little bit more money, you can get a three axis one. It works very well for what I do. And I would just like to say that I was not given this DRO. I paid for this out of my own pocket. So these experiences are exactly what have happened. And if I had to buy another one tomorrow, I would definitely consider one of these. Like I said, if I wanted something for a production machine, or if I had a really nice knee milling machine, like a bridge port that was in good condition, or an Accelo, I would probably go ahead and buy a Minatoyu one. But for some of the lower end machines, like the typical round column mill drill, or even some of the smaller square column mill milling machines, it definitely works quite well. Thanks for watching. Dial caliper. It's a dial caliper. It's not a dial caliper, you idiot. It is a digital caliper.